മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഇസ് ഓൾവേസ് ഫാസിനേറ്റിംഗ് ഭൂഗോളത്തിന്റെ ഓരോ സ്പന്ദനവും കണക്കിലാണ് വിത്തൌട്ട് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഭൂമി വെറും ഒരു വട്ട പൂജ്യം ലെറ്റ്സ് ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് സം ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഇൻ മാത്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു മാത്തമേസ് We all know to find the solution for a given function by substituting the number. But we strongly not recommend to try this with a collects conjecture. Quite possibly the simplest unsolved problem in mathematics. Just pick a number. Any number. If the number is even, cut it in half. If it's odd, triple it and add. take that new number and repeat the process again and again if you keep this up you will eventually get stuck in a loop at least that's what we think will happen we could explore this by testing more orbits but knowing something is true for a bunch of numbers even 2 raised to 68 of them isn't a proof that it's true for every number this is not the last one one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in maths is always very easy to write goldbach's conjecture every even number greater than 2 is the sum of two primes you check this in your head for small numbers 18 is 13 plus 5 and 42 is 23 plus 19 euler put it as i regard it is a completely certain theorem although i cannot prove it still not convinced try to write a large number as sum of two primes picture ab hi bhi baki hai bye twin prime conjecture also known as polignac's conjecture in number theory assertion that there are infinitely many twin primes or pairs of primes that differ by 2 for example 3 and 5 5 and 7 11 and 13 17 and 19 are twin primes as number get larger prime becomes less frequent and twin primes are rarer still let's talk about fermat's last theorem well Don't worry. This is already solved. So before diving into it, let's hear a small story. Once upon a time, there was a legend named Fermat. He had a weird character. He used to write theorem, but always finds a lame excuse like he has to milk his cow, I mean, to not give it solution. when he died the mathematicians all around the world worked on the solutions to fermat's theorems all of the solutions were found except one that is known as the fermat's last theorem in number theory fermat's last theorem states that no three positive integers a b and c satisfy the equation a raised to n plus b raised to n is equal to c raised to n for any integer value of n greater than 2 the cases n equal to 1 and n equal to 2 have been known since antiquity to have infinitely many solutions after 358 years of effort by mathematicians the first successful proof was released in 1994 by andrew wiles and formally published in 1995 If you're interested check out Beal conjecture now get ready with your calculators we have some summations to do what will be the sum of natural numbers up to infinity without a doubt the answer is infinity right but what if we say it is a finite number that too a fraction moreover it is negative too bizarre right The sum of natural number up to infinity is in fact minus 1 by 12 and the most strange part is that it is used in theoretical physics to prove and model things such as string theory 
Yes, you heard it right. This summation is called Ramanujan's summation. Infinity is an extremely confusing mathematical term. And when it is associated with a series, it does not generally give us the answer we expect. Such is the legacy of this term. Until someone actually comes up with a proper contradiction, we won't take Ramanujan's summation as an overrated mistake, but rather as an astounding step in the ever intriguing world of mathematics. Not only sum of natural number, take a look at this. Apart from Ramanujan, another notable mathematician is Riemann who contributed towards this. Talking about Riemann, he put forward a hypothesis which, if we could solve, will create wonders and outbreaks in mathematics. In real life, creating a problem may be easy, but finding a solution for it is not so easy. Like not theorists, holy grade problem was an algorithm to identify if some tangled mess is truly knotted or if it can be distinguable to nothing. The cool news is that this has been accomplished. Several computer algorithms for this have been written in the last 20 years. That roughly means that we know our algorithms are capable of unknotting knots of any complexity. But that as they get more complicated, it starts to take an impossibly long time. For now, if someone comes up with an algorithm which that can unknot any knot in what's called polynomial time, that will put the unknotting problem fully to rest.